The St. Catherine South Police are, may, are still piecing together the series of events that led to a murder of a policeman's wife and the subsequent fatal shooting of the attacker, who is her son, in Greater Portmore, St. Catherine, last night. Jamela Maitlands walks us through the timeline in this report. However, we must warn that viewer discretion is advised. It started sometime after 1.30 Tuesday morning when a man who appeared disheveled and naked approached this white Toyota Pro Box and began attacking the motorists. A tussle ensued and the driver was able to run away unharmed. The man then got into the vehicle and drove away. He ended up somewhere here at Phoenix Park and crashed into another vehicle. According to the police, there was another struggle with a security guard and the man was fatally shot. He has been identified as 22-year-old Khalil Bent, a student of the Caribbean Maritime University and the son of a police officer. But the police were kept busy as they were called to another crime scene almost four hours later, this time in Greater Portmore. The lifeless body of a woman was found at her home. She has been identified as the mother of the victim, 46-year-old Omega Bent. Very unfortunate incident. It impacts one of our members, you know, who basically would have lost his wife and his only child. So we are providing necessary support for him at this time. We expect him back pretty soon. He's off the island, but I spoke to him and um, he was really not taking it well. Commanding officer for the St. Catherine South Police Division, Senior Superintendent of Police, Christopher Phillips, said they're still piecing together the series of events. You know, believe that both incidents have some linkage. Uh, we are not in a position to definitively say that, you know, Khalil was a person who committed that act, but of course he's one of our main suspects in that incident. SSP Phillips says preliminary investigations reveal that the male victim might have been struggling with mental health issues. He's urging the public to be mindful of families of victims of crime while alluding to graphic photos of the crime scene that have been making rounds on social media. We've seen some images circulating which we believe, you know, it's pretty insensitive and irresponsible. Um, already I have reached out to the community. Uh, leadership to express our dissatisfaction with how do, that information went out. Basically, you know, there was no care about the needs of the rest of the family. And